Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Gold Scourge. Uh, Hola. So, Hello. we've made some pretty serious changes around here since the last time I was on. You might notice the minimap. Nectura left me a happy birthday message, spelled out in cake. I'm gonna eat it. Cake. Ah, lag. Well, now that I've recorded it, we can eat it. I'm not I, I don't have any hunger. Yeah, me either. Uh, we expanded the rubber tree farm here significantly, because we're going to need a lot of rubber for our project coming up. We've been processing crap loads and crap loads of redstone. We have a monitor here now to tell us how much we ha actually have in the system. And hey, Dagger, looks like we have some uh, cells. Do you need? I mean, uh, how much rubber do you need? Excuse me. Uh, well, we're stockpiling. Them. All right. Well, I have 43k, so if you need me, let me know. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's we have right, a rubber tree farm I am going. Off. I'm off. I'm heading to bed. Okay. See you. Have Barrett. a good night, Para. Um, at four o'clock in the morning, it's gonna render the dine map. So. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. I'll see you guys. All right. See you. So I'm Can grabbing a few things out of the ME system because we are about to take another major step. User was moved out of User left oh, channel. the reactor is running again. Yeah, I turned it on. See these things? These are for AES shoes. Which we are now removing. And if we come over here, You saw me a little bit ago. Get four iridium plates and an ender chest. What do you get when you combine these things together? You get an interdimensional energy storage unit, which holds one billion EU dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that much more However, actually. it only outputs in HV or EV. So, uh, let's see here. We're going to need some glass fiber. And we are going to want to hook this up probably right here. So that it has no real connection to anything else. Grab us some glass fiber here. I'm watching you. That's slightly creepy. Mason test. There we go, that's a little better. Stop going in and out of the hole. Creepy. I, I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> uh, I can't turn my jetpack on. Thank you. I'll put it back for you. Ah. We did change the home plugin on the server, so home's moved around a little bit. I haven't okay. even been able to use the home function. Now, User failed. IDS shoes, when you first place them, you have to right-click on it, and that initializes it with an ID. That ID is unique to the player. So, if Fun Devin were to try and access this, he can see it, but he can't change the IDS shoes ID. It's set to me. So any um, IDS shoe that I place will have the same ID. By extension, any IDSU the Fun Devin places will have the same ID for him and Kozak the same way. Can you open it, Koz? No. Uh, yeah, I don't think you yeah. guys can even open it. That's stupid. It was a fight! We'll never be able to see how much power we have in it. Stop showing your ass to us! We'll figure something out to handle that. Alright, so this thing is now capable of outputting into our main system. It's good to go. We need to produce like massive amounts of power, but we are still running on stockpiled power. Some stockpiled power. Eight million of it, or how much ever. Yeah. What? We're actually a lot lower we on power than I thought. Yeah. It's actually danger low. Almost. No, we're not anywhere near danger zone yet. We still have like six, seven million. It's not too bad. We'll work on power generation some other time. 
Um, there's a couple of things that I want to get done this episode that are pretty critical. Number one, our storage spaces are freaking ridiculous. And by freaking ridiculous, I mean like totally ridiculous in that we're storing somewhere in the neighborhood of 10k stone and 6k dirt, and it's just taking up way too much of space in all of these chests that we have down here. So I actually took some statistics. No cow. You know, crap. Alright, so, we need to work on a better storage solution. Just so happens that we have two options. First one is the digital slash quantum chests from Greg Tech. However, those are expensive. Let's go for the cheaper option. We're going to go for a Mine Factory Reloaded. You know what, before we go any further here, let me start my timer. What the oh. hell is that? I'm um, trying to break my warded door. I... You know, I think this is the first time I've forgotten my timer in, like, months. Yeah. Okay, um, anyway. We are going to... Kozak, stop that. <laughs> you having fun? Really? <laughs> I need a key. I don't think I ever used a key on it. Yeah, I thought I had one laying around. Alright, we need some plastic sheets. Look. We're probably going to need some raw plastic. Um, what we're going to make is called a deep storage unit. It's nice factory machine block, ender pearls, eyes of ender, and plastic sheets to get four of them. Factory machine blocks is just plastic and stone. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so we need some stone. Yeah, we still have 10k stone. It's ridiculous. A follow! There we go. Sorry, hey, 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 hey you're, you're... What is he doing? He's, he's stalking us. <laughs> I thought I saw the invisible wisps. We have the mysterious fish chasing us yes. around again. Yes, the cooked fish is chasing you. Please don't hit me. Don't hit me. I do not have full, uh, thing in the, uh, full force fields. Alright, so, do a little bit of this, and you get deep storage units. I'm going to make us eight of them, which is probably way too many, but I don't care. There's no such thing as overkill. We are going to pop the deep storage units down over here. Now, you can see, these things have interfaces for in, out, stored zero, yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and pull all of the cobble we have out of the system and drop it in here. There we go. That'll be good for now. We'll do the same thing with this one to key it to smooth stone. And then we'll just go through the line here. We're probably going to want to put signs on these to tell what's in them. Because there's no outward indication. But let's take a look and see what we're storing the most of. I right now have this sorted by number of items. So by far, the most we're storing of is stone. Then glass. So we'll put glass in this one here. Then coal. We'll put in this one. Uh, clay. I don't know why we're storing so much fucking clay. Probably got it whenever we were, you know, we got it then. Sand. We are storing a lot of sand. So How come smooth stone isn't in here? Smooth stone is on this side. Oh. Um, scaffolding. We have a lot of scaffolding. For know. building projects. Did you put dirt in there? No, dirt's next. Dirt we'll put ah. right here. Those cows are going to drive me bloody insane. As a matter of fact, let me turn my sound down a little bit. There. That's not as bad now. And a bizzle stone. We'll store a bizzle stone in here, too. I am entertaining myself. All right. Punch yes, the invisible guy. Now, we're going to need a way to interface with this. So, 
let's head back out here. And we are going to need to craft eight storage units. For that, we're going to need eight processors. Uh, we have a basic processor assembly. We're going to need to craft seven more. Our system should be smart enough to do that for us. It is not yet smart enough to cook them. That's because we never set up any auto cooking, did we? No, we didn't. It is, however, smart enough to produce ME interfaces for us once it has the processors. I did that this this actually within an hour. Yes, thank you. I was very getting much. tired of making them. Greatly appreciate that. We're gonna need this red ME cable. And we're gonna need a little bit more ME cable. We'll grab the one out of here, and then we're going to tell it to craft us. Let's go ahead and craft ten more. Why not? It's more than we really need, but now we're going to need some iron. No, not ME iron. Plain old iron. Thank you. Iron across the bottom, ME interface in the middle, cable on top, gives you storage buses. There's an invisible fish standing on top of one of our work, uh, work tables. Coz was making me bored. Mm. Okay. Let's pop into here. And I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do this yet, but I think what I want to do, because I'm sick of having red cable on here, the red cable doesn't do anything for us anyway. My initial... Why do we have... Bastard. Why do we have uh, some uh, auto crafting things in our storage? I have no idea. Why do we have what? Ah. I'm going to remove some of this warded stone temporarily to give us a little room to work. Yeah, we have two patterns. We have a copper cable pattern. Because and... they're, they're, they're irrelevant. All right. And I, and... I don't know what to do with them. And cans. Now, we're going to pull something a little bit tricky here. Um, would one of you guys want to make me an ME import bus? Got it. And we're going to want it to be a precision import. Why, why can't I access the system anymore? Uh, you can't access the system anymore because I've disconnected all of our storage. I'm putting it back. Good Don't one. worry. <laughs> you can yeah. only craft stuff. That's funny. I'm getting it. I'm putting it back. You can access Perfect. it again. Okay, my Minecraft first. Yay! I can access it! Yay. Sure can't put anything in it, though. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I dropped a pickaxe. You're kind of in the way, as usual. <sighs> I'm fun. Right. I'm helping. All right. Import bus done yet? Kozak. Hmm? Import what? bus done. I said not it. <laughs> oh, you said not it. Oh, I thought you said it. I thought you oh. said got it. Uh, yeah, that's what I heard. I meant, I'll <laughs> go make one. What do you need, Dagger? We need <laughs> we an ME import bus. You need a got it. basic import bus and a basic processor to do it. In the meantime, I'm gonna start kind of trying to move this stuff by hand, which ought to be really entertaining. Matter of fact, you know what? We're gonna do this. If you shift right-click on a storage bus, maybe you have to do it with a wrench. I think you can do it with your power fist if you're wanting to just turn it. Nah. 
Yeah, if you shift right click on it with a wrench, it lets you set a priority. We're going to set the storage priority on all these things to 2. No, we're not going to turn it. When the system looks for a place to store something, it's going to look for whatever has the highest priority. So by setting these to priority 2, we make sure that if it's trying to deposit something into the system, it's going to try to do it into these blocks first. Now if we take a look and find the coal here, you can see there's 64 coal in there. I don't know. You can see there's 64 coal in there. If I open the system and drop all of the coal in my inventory into here, what we should see happen is we should see it go into the deep storage unit, which it did. So if I come into here and I pull all of the coal out of all of these chests, which ought to be really freaking entertaining. Man, we have a bunch of uranium cells taking up room in here, too. We're going to need a drive to take care of that Sorry. problem. The one major benefit to drives is that they can stack. Yeah, but the last time we did that, we lost it. I'm not trusting those things. Yeah, we did, but what other choice do we have? Lost what things? Alright, your, your precision import is in the... In the system? Is in the system. Thank you, sir. Alright, so, the easiest way that I can think of to get all of the crap out of here is to just go through one at a time, break the storage bus off the top of these chests, put the import bus on top of it, and that will pull out anything in the system that we have tagged to go into a deep storage unit. Well, it's actually going to pull everything out of the chest. But the stuff that's it's supposed gonna... to go into the deep storage unit will go into the deep storage unit. Yep. So, we'll go through, and we'll just do that with this entire row of chests. Set it stack mode. Let it work its magic. It's just going to randomly throw it in other chests. Are the other chests all full now? Wow. Yeah. This is they a are. lot of chests. Uh, well, we can solve this problem. By putting the storage bus back you know on what here. You forgot. You forgot gravel. But we really don't have that much gravel, so. Yeah. All right. We'll break that. Um, we'll put our storage our, bus back on there. Where's our net with a creeper in it? It's being shuttled around. It's in the spawner. Oh yeah, that one's in the spawner. Got any Break that off. I have 26 really. levels, but I'm kind of busy. Come on. Stack mode, please. Thank you. Sorry, I must have been in front of you. Uh oh. That's not what I meant to do. Uh oh. What did you do? Uh, I don't know. I gave myself five stacks, but it worked. Hold you on gave yourself five stacks of what? Stone. This is taking up a lot more time than I had originally planned, so I might do the rest of this off camera. Mostly what I'm interested I can in. I do it for you. Well, mostly what yeah, I'm interested in is making absolutely sure. Let me switch this to stack mode. Mostly what I want to see. I want to make 100% sure that we'll be able to access the contents of the deep storage unit to pull stuff out instead of just putting it in. I think it should work, but I'm not 100% sure. So what I might do is go ahead and put the storage buses back on here. And over here, we had a spot for abyssal stone. There's 1,777 there. 
there's 2865 in the system. So for right now, let's go ahead and break that off. That way it can't see what's in there. We'll pull out the rest of the Abyssal Stone. Ah! No, I don't want Redstone. Well, I mean, the fact that we can even see it means that... Where is... I, I grabbed it. I grabbed you it. already grabbed all the Abyssal Stone? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the fact that we can even see what's in the storage bus means that we can access it. Yep. It's there. Yep, it's taking it right out. Yeah, see, we got 2865 there. We got 2865 there. So yes, this is working perfectly fine. We can come back and do this crap off camera. I may actually need your help for some other stuff, which is well, kind of what I was getting at. Alright. The other thing that I want to do here is I want to do a little bit more Mine Factory Reloaded crap. We have a cattle farm set up here. But we can't really run it all the time. Because we don't have enough wheat to supply this. We've got that manual wheat farm out there, but it's not cutting it. I want to set up an actual wheat farm. I also want to set up an actual tree farm in order to get us some wood to build with. And I also want to set up something to start using all of this fucking sewage that we've been collecting. So, we're going to need a bunch of machines for this crap. First of all, we're going to start by making sure we have enough redstone energy conduit to do this. We're also going to need a redstone energy cell, which we're going to grab from over here. By the way, we need to make a few more redstone energy cells, I think. We're going to need to make a few machines. We're going to start with the composter. No. How about we look at this instead of that? We need the composter, which is a furnace, a couple pistons, machine block, plastic sheets. Just so happens our system knows how to make pistons. Uh, we have no furnaces. That's fine. We don't want slabs, we want cobblestone. Grab the pistons. We'll need that factory machine block. We're going to need some stone before all said and done. Here you go, Kozak. I mined that for you. We're going to need all the plastic sheets and probably a stack of plastic. Okay. Let's go ahead and make some more of these. Don't we're you want to put them in the pulverizer first? Eh! I just pulled it out. Don't plastic worry. sheets. No, not yet. Furnace. Furnace. Piston, plastic sheets, and factory machine block gives us our composter. Do we have any liquid ducts? No, but we have a couple liquid tesseracts. That's fine. We'll use liquid tesseracts. Actually, you know what? No, I want to completely reroute the sewage that we're getting. I don't want it to go to this tank over here anymore. I want it to go somewhere else entirely. So, for right now, let's see, how are we going to do this? Let's come down into the access we have underneath here. We need to find the sewage line. There it is, there's the sewage line. And right now we have it going that way. So we're actually going to want it to come over this way, I think. And then we'll take it straight through here. Yeah, that should do the trick. Uh, let's dig under here so we can follow this the whole way through. Mm 
because there's another pin here that it's connected to, and that, I think, is where it connects to our tank. Yeah, that's our tank up there. So there's our second sewer. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, what the fuck? Let's have fun with the server. Great, random restart. Love that. That wasn't a restart. That's what it said. No, that was a restart. Oh. Insert technical errors here. So much for, oh, we're done with the restarts for the night, guys. Oh, well, at least it doesn't take long for the server to come back up. I'm not even going to bother cutting the recording. Doesn't make it any less annoying. No, but, I mean... Yeah, as long as they're fixing shit, I'm not going to complain, though. Yeah, I mean, we're doing some maintenance behind the scenes here, trying to get things working a little better, trying to fix some broken plugins that we've got, so... Restarts happen. I just wish it'd give us a little bit of warning. Bing. Okay, it's up. There we go. Alright, so, yeah. Sewer line. Uh, liquiducts. We'll definitely need some liquiducts. Um, if one of you guys gets bored and wants to help, I'm probably going to need Close some more liquiducts. Because I... Cause I, I want to help, but I can't do nothing because I don't have access to your Amy system. Yeah. I'm working on something completely different right now, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and connect that line right there to get some sewage flowing there. And we'll just fly out. And then we're going to drop the composter. Actually, I'm not sure. Does the composter have to be powered? Yes, it does. That figures. So we'll have the sewage line running up out of the ground into the side of the thing here. And we'll run the redstone power cable from the other one to right there. We'll have composter sit there. Composter will quite happily take in sewage. And it will do some work for us once we actually plug in a power source. Now, we are going to need a place for that to deposit items. So, we're going to need a chest. My fortune pick is missing. It's in my inventory. Here. Oh. I went mining. Oh, alright. Do we have any just plain chests? We do. But right now, I'm just going to put a chest on here. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to drop a redstone energy cell on here. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. we'll watch this thing. Uh -huh. Draw sewage and create uh -huh. industrial fertilizer. Uh -huh. User disconnected from your channel. I got uh -huh. kicked. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, oh, you're dead. I'm coming. Uh huh. For you. I'm coming for you. Uh huh. I, I logged in in a wall. Uh huh. Ah, there we go. Uh -huh. Yep. 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 All right. So this thing is going to happily create industrial fertilizer for us. At a not terribly slow speed, either. Uh -huh. So, there's part one. Don't make me mute you. Get over here and kick your ass. Urgh. Jousting! Ha ha! How about you? Oh, he got me. All right. Enough of that. Yeah, enough of that. Okay. Wheat farm. To do the wheat farm, we're actually going to need three machines. We're going to need the planter, which is flower pots, a piston, a machine block, and some plastic sheets. Who's been taking my silicon cells out of the industrial blast furnace? Um, I don't know. Have oh. you been making silicon plates? Yeah. Oh, is it finally? Oh, there's finally. Uh, an the blast bus furnace has, the blast furnace has had an import bus for ages, dude. It 
wasn't taking it out earlier. Oh, that was it takes... you guys were fun messing with it. Yeah, we were system. messing with the system. It didn't have a place to take it to. Okay, there's our planter. We're also going to need a fertilizer, not that kind of fertilizer. We're going to need this kind of fertilizer, which is leather, a glass bottle. Leather not being a problem at all. Or the glass bottle. Uh, we need some more plastic, though. There we go. We'll just create a crap ton of them. And we're going to need a few more of these blocks, too. So we'll just create a few. There we go. Plastic sheets across the top. Machine blocks on the bottom. It's pretty standard for these recipes. That's going to get us our fertilizer. We're also going to need the harvester. Which is a golden axe for some reason. Two sets of shears. Which we're just going to have to make out of iron. And a fat man kicking your knee. As I get kicked in the knee by Kozak. <laughs> there we go. And then the fish slaps. Axe. Oh, thanks, Coz. You're so nice. <laughs> he doesn't know you very well, does he? There's our harvester. Well, surprisingly not, I guess, since I've... Well, I don't know. Okay. Now. I'm an asshole. The harvester, and the planter, and all of that stuff, we're just going to hook up right over here. Right next to the composter. Seems like a good place. This one needs to be planted one deep, so we're going to have it sitting right here, as soon as I find it. You're a glutton for punishment, aren't you? There's the planter. No, just having some fun. With and we will need to connect this to power. Ow. Seeing step assist is keeping me in the room. Redstone energy cell. Connect that to some power. Let that charge up. And then I'll explain that crazy interface in a second here. First of all, let's put a light down here so that nothing spawns. And then let's fill this back in with some dirt. Oh, you disabled the system again. Yeah. Now, the planter has an inventory here that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, we will eventually automate this, but for right now, I'm just going to fill it with seeds. We have no seeds. Really? Do you have the system disconnected, Fun? Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to put stuff in the system, and now I can't. Sorry, hey, Dagger, do we're you on manual order exit right now. Hey, Dagger, do you have an entrance exit to Oceanica? Uh, there is no exit to Oceanica yet. I haven't done the airlock yet. I was wondering. Because I was I was looking for a way to get in, and I just went over in a far corner, dug my way under, and replaced all the blocks. What are you doing? I accidentally broke a couple chests. Really? Yeah. You're killing me here. There. That's what we really needed. I got the seeds the I need. What did you do, Fun? He I dirt. broke a couple chests. He's breaking shit. There's the seeds. Okay, in the planter, we're just gonna put all of these seeds. And we're gonna see it's immediately gonna start planting seeds all over the frickin' place. When we put those there, it's gonna plant those too. The fertilizer, we're gonna put right here. The harvester, we're going to put right here. And of course, I have this bass backwards. Mm. 
each one of these things has a face that's supposed to face in towards the thing. If you don't get it right, it won't work right. We'll dig down. And these need to be connected to power too. So we'll just run the conduit like this. And that should be good. Up we go. Now, what this is going to do is when this thing here gets industrial fertilizer, like so, it's going to fertilize the wheat, and then this thing is going to harvest it, and it's going to spit it out the back. Obviously, that's not what it's really going to do. We're going to have something here to collect that. But you can see it's producing a surprising amount of wheat pretty quick. Alright, we have a chest cart. I'll just rip the chest out of that and put that here. Can I start all putting right. shit in the system? So, it already Not burned yet. through all of the fertilizer that we created. Killing me here, fun. Composter is quite happily staying nice and full with sewage. We're slowly draining out this tank, which means eventually we'll be able to just get rid of this tank. That'll clean things up for us a little bit. Now, there's one more thing that I want to add to the system before we cut, and we're getting close to the 40 minute mark if we're not there already. We are going to want a little bit of redneck cable. Redneck? Rednet. Redneck? <laughs> Net. <laughs> we're actually going to need some more. So, plastic sheets with redstone in the middle gives you redneck cable. Redneck? I'm just going to make a stack of the crap. And what kind of building materials do I have access to at the moment? Looks like pretty much everything again, right? Or are you still messing almost. around with crap down there? Almost. He's getting ready. I'm just going to say almost. Almost. Almost everything's fixed. You don't have to go okay. down there and punch. I'm going to take some of this fitted quarried stone we have. Maybe not, because it keeps... I'm really? There, alright, go get it quick. Take it I don't quick. think he knows what he's doing. Take it. Before no, I there's... Unplug. Hold on. I'm actually going to use a bizzle brick. Oh, Whoa, internal server error. I seriously live. What? That was a stinging restart. Heck? That wasn't a restart. That was a crash. No, I yeah, had that's a crash. I had restart. Oh, I got internal yeah, server error. That. Well, whenever he does that force restart thing, sometimes it does the job of socket error. Did it for me a few times too, and it was a restart. Oh, I didn't get a socket error. I just got internal server error. Internal server error and kicked out to the multiplayer screen. Hmm. No crash report. Yeah, I got oh, a restart. There it is. So did it actually crash, or did it restart? I, I'm not sure. It restarted faster than I could get in. Oh, it's up. Yeah, it's up again. <clears throat> and as I fall through the floor... I'm going to put some of this redneck cable... on there. Is anyone redneck. logged into console? On there. Me. On there. And we're going to run this cabling over here to connect to itself, just like this. Now, you may have noticed that it did something unintentional there. It connected to the sewage pipe. That's because Redneck Cable understands all of the vanilla blocks, but it doesn't sometimes know how to deal with modded blocks. And I actually don't want that there because now I can't access the chest. So. Um, hold on, Dagger, are you lagging really, really bad? Not at the moment. Well, I am. Not that I know of. Okay, well, there no, that's not what I, I meant to do. Jump back to a whole other section. Ah! No. Oh, that's why everybody joined at once. Yeah. I mean, I, I usually lag really bad for like the first ten seconds. 
Um, let's go ahead and connect this redneck cable right there. I'm gonna put that there momentarily just so I can demonstrate something. Nom, 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 the cake. If you have a precision sledgehammer, which is funny in itself, this is used to rotate these blocks. It's also used to interact with the redneck cable. If you hold down shift and right click on the main part of the cable, you can change the cable's mode. Right now it's set to force connection. It will try to connect to anything that touches it, vanilla or not. Click it again, it's set to cable only mode. It will not connect to anything except for cable. One more time sets it to standard. So here we want to set cable only. We don't want this getting a redstone signal. Um, and then right here, uh, can I access the terminal? Yeah. Right here, we're going to put a lever. What does this lever do? This is a kill switch. A this, requirement on this server. will make the machines stop working. On Galt Scourge, we have a requirement that you have your machine shut off when you're not online. So, we want to have this machine here with a kill switch on it so that if we're not online, we can turn this thing off and stop it from producing fertilizer fertilizing the plants, harvesting the plants, sending it to the cattle breeder, and all that. Now, eventually I'm going to code a control system that's just going to go all the way through here. Yeah, I'm going to get to see removing the chests. Eventually. Yep. Probably Although, sooner rather than later. Although I'm confused, I thought I would have access to it anyway. No, you're a mod, you don't have override. I thought it was override for mod, mods, but not mod, mod miners. No, admins or ops. Alright, um, like I said, in an episode or two, we're going to come through here and we're going to revamp this control system to make it a lot more powerful and a lot more controllable. My eventual goal is to have it so that you can individually shut down parts of the system without shutting the entire system down, so if we don't want to produce massive amounts of beef for some reason, we can shut off the breeder. If we don't want to stockpile any more wheat, we can shut off the planter. Stuff like that. For right now, though, um, I think we are out of time. Because I'm 36 minutes on my timer and I started it late, which means we're probably at like 42, 45 minutes. Um, eh. And <laughs> there's no way I'm going to get that done this episode, because that's going to require the use of a new toy. Giggity. It's going to require the PRC. Dun dun dun. Yay. Which I barely understand how to use. I broke it. Really? You broke it? No. I mean, when I was using it, I broke it. Alright, time to eat like, some I, cake. I'm terrible. Nom nom nom. Haha. -ha. Alright, anyway, peeps, this has been Night Dagger with Let's Play on Gold Scourge. And Kozak <laughs> found diamonds. <laughs> Alright, catch you later, peeps. Me.